but we are kicking off our week of recipes or really it's more of a few days of recipes because oh, we had a lovely long bank holiday weekend which means it's a shorter week this week which is so good this week i'm doing a bit of a blend of working from home and working in the office so most of the meals will be making at home but there'll also be some that are what i get when i'm kind of doing a grab and go type situation in the office but i haven't been into the office for a couple of weeks now so i'm excited to go back in anyway right now it's a weird brunch lunch type situation our food shop just arrived for the week so i've just packed all of that away which means that i've done an accidental intermittent fast and it's now noon and i haven't eaten and i'm absolutely starving so i'm gonna make one of my standard classic favorite breakfasts and we're gonna dive straight into a video filled with lovely food <laughs> Let's kick things off with breakfast, the most important meal of the day. I don't know, we still love to call it that. Either way, I love breakfast. And today I'm having one of my favorites, something I like to call toast two ways. I also call this sweet and savory toast because normally I have a sweet option, but today I couldn't help myself. We had avo, we had salmon, we had cream cheese in the fridge. It was screaming at me to have this unreal combo. Toast two ways is honestly one of my favorite easy breakfast. Whatever you want on either piece of toast, and just enjoy it. I do always try and make sure that I start my day with something savory, something about me just when I start my day with something really sweet, I just crave sweetness throughout the day. So for me, breakfast is always a combo of protein, healthy fats, and a bit of carb for energy. Today was a little bit more snacky than usual because my two-way toast was kind of my breakfast and my lunch. So up next was my afternoon snack, which was a cup of tea for a boost of energy and some leftover Easter chocolate. I just couldn't help myself. And then at the end of the workday, Cameron and I actually needed to pop to B&Q to look at some paint samples. So we jumped in the car and brought some crisps with us for the ride. I feel like it's completely illegal to go on a journey without road snacks. And truly the Piper Sea Salt crisps are top tier. Oh, I've officially finished work for the day and it is time for dinner. I am so hungry. So I want something like proper delicious you know it's also a period week so i want like proper like comfort food you know and i have to say i'm a bit more pasta obsessed than cameron is so because he's still working right now even though i don't know what time it's like 6 30 i'm so desperate for dinner he's still working so i think i'm gonna make pasta because i know that he's got some meat in the fridge which he will probably have and i don't eat meat so on the days that he eats meat i get to make whatever i want which i think is gonna be pasta today so I'm gonna show you one of like my favorite meals that I just make whenever I want something quick and easy, but so delicious. And it's like packed with nutrients. And yeah, it's just so good. Also, I am loving this light. Isn't it so nice? You can see it behind me. The light is just pouring into this room. Oh, I'm so excited for summer here. It now officially stays light till like 7.30 or something insane. A lot of the stuff that I'm eating at the moment is still definitely very like in between seasons. We're not into like full on like deep spring summer meals yet because i also do like to eat very seasonally we're kind of in some weird end of winter early spring meal zone but i'm so hyped for when my diet basically just becomes barbecued veg and like dips and like new potatoes and like potato salad and like just every type of funky salad under the sun i just i love summer food oh, anyway for tonight i'm clearly getting so distracted i'm so hungry right <laughs> Time to make some pasta and show you one of my favorite recipes ever, ever, ever. For like a midweek after work, delicious billing meal. Let's do it. Tony is my favorite pasta shape of all time. Really like the thicker the tube, the better. But I don't know the names of like the really thick tube pasta. But rigatoni is like up there with my, it's just so much better than penne. It's just like penne, but better. It's a really tiny kind of night. Pasta dish will low key 
change your life if you let it. It has all the nutrients you need in it. We've got nutritional yeast in there. We've got our healthy fats. We've got protein. We've got all of our vitamin C from our sun-dried tomatoes and our fresh tomatoes frying in the pan. It's so easy to whip up. It's the perfect midweek meal. It feels super indulgent. It's just win, 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 win. You've got to try it. Okay, while my pasta is just finishing cooking and my little tomatoes are frying and everything's doing its thing, I have to show you the newest addition to this room, which is an orangery officially. Cameron and I went to Peach and Nurseries at the weekend, which if you live in like the Surrey area or if you know Richmond at all, Peach and Nurseries is like a really lovely garden centre, basically. Anyway, we went and we bought ourselves a little treat and this is the newest addition to the orange tree and i just think it's so cute this is our tiny little orange tree to go in our orange tree we've got this lovely pot from there as well and these are going to turn into oranges is that not the cutest thing we've also officially bought like a cabinet to go over here and i'm going to pop this tree on there and hopefully one day this tree will grow big enough that it can just kind of stand alone and be in its own pot somewhere i don't know but for now but now it's so cute and there's actually quite a lot of like fruit on it you can see we've got quite a few and like some you can see like right in there it's gonna be orange eventually it's gonna turn orange i'm so excited dinner oh don't you think that just looks so good i'm so unbelievably excited to tuck into this honestly it is the best midweek meal in the world just like stick some broccoli in there's a bit of basil on top and it's just like a creamy tomato you can hear how loud the birds are tonight it's beautiful but it's just like a creamy tomato pasta but you're not using any actual cream you're not using any cream cheese like obviously nuts still have fat in them but if you've never tried the cashew way of making basically like a creamy sauce honestly give it a go i just love it and oh, so delicious anyway i'm gonna sit here in this lovely light because it's so nice in here and enjoy my dinner looking out into the garden yum well. was a day for the office canteen breakfast and for me today that was porridge now my options at the office canteen are either like milk porridge or water porridge and because i don't have normal milk i only have milk alternatives it was water porridge for me today which is not the most exciting thing but this combo of like dry bananas and cinnamon and honey is so delicious again why i'm eating all of this autumnal food i don't know but today for breakfast this was incredible before it was zipping off to lunch. I could only go to Attis. Those of you that have seen my other working vlogs know that Attis is just top tier when it comes to salad, when it comes to office-based lunch. So there could really be no other choice for today. For lunch today, it had to be Attis. I've also got my Kindle because I've actually got an incredible 45 minutes for lunch today in the office, which is pretty much unheard of. So I'm gonna sit in a room and read for a little bit. But I got the Azteca, which is my absolute favorite. And I always top it, well, not always, when I'm feeling extra hungry, like this week, I topped it with the miso tofu, which maybe that's a bit weird, but with like a slightly Mexican-y Azteca bit, it's so good. And then I also got myself my favorite Dash flavor. I haven't had these like all winter and now spring, summer's back. I just can't stop drinking these ones. Peach is literally my favorite. I also really like the raspberry. Anyway, so. This is my lunch setup, and there is actually like two emails I need to send first before I can tuck into lunch. So I'm just gonna get those sent off and then I'm gonna read for like half an hour while I eat my lunch, which is so nice. Cause I basically have the freedom of uh, working from home day of being able to have a bit of a lunch break with the deliciousness of a meal that was not prepared by me and I could just buy and enjoy. So 
yes, Attis is still stupidly expensive and worthily delicious. Okay, lunchtime. deep dive into the salad. It is feta, pickled onions, charred corn, black beans, like a coriander lime dressing. I know some people hate coriander. I love it. Um, a pea and avocado smash, crispy bits of tortilla chips sprinkled on top. And then I added the miso tofu. So delicious. And I'm currently reading Sky and Breath of the Crescent City series. I'm 64% of the way through. That's pretty good. And I have to say, I'm enjoying it. I'm not enjoying it the same way I enjoyed some of the Akatar books or the way I enjoyed some of the Throne of Glass books, but it's still a really good book and I'm enjoying it so far. I thought the first book was absolutely fantastic by the end. Okay, I'm not gonna let this video turn into a Crown City review video. I will do that separately, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it enough that I'm very much looking forward to lunch and a little bit of sky and bear. straight on. Cameron and I are also having a glass of wine. I don't know if that's acceptable on a Thursday, but it's technically the end of the working week for me. So put a glass of wine with lots of ice and it's still light. I'm still not over the fact that it's light and it's only, or it's as late as 6.30 and it's still light. For dinner, I think we're gonna have burritos. I originally wanted to make tacos. We've been making, we've been on a bit of a hype of making these like prawn tacos lately. And the thing that I always say is missing whenever we make them is mango. So I bought mango at the shops, but then realized that I feel like I'm missing a lot of the other things we need for tacos. And so I think I'm gonna transition a taco into a burrito. So that is what we're gonna have for dinner, which I actually haven't made before burritos. I think ever, it's one of those foods that like, if I ever fancy a burrito, I always just order it out. I just get one from tortilla. So, to make our burrito, bought the wraps, bought the cheese, bought the rice. We might have cheese and rice to be fair, but I wasn't entirely sure. And then I've already got my leftover chopped up onion from yesterday, which is such a win, so I'm have to do that. Got some avocado, I feel like that'll probably go in there. Cameron, um, do you want to have like a meat filled burrito and do like a Beyond Meat in like a beef, like a beef burrito type style? Or would you just want it like all veggie in it? Like, what, what veggies are you sticking in you want? No, I'd have it too if it was beyond. Mm. I don't mind actually, what do you think? Well, well, what are, what's going to go in the veggie one? Let's work that out first. It would be black bean, well kidney beans. It would be like beans and corn, but like I could also put beans and corn in the meat one. Yeah, we could do beans and corn and I can try out some beyond meat mints basically. Yeah, well, you keep speaking as if you're the only one that's going to get to eat the Beyond Meat Mints. I get it too. I so said we could fry up. I said we I could fry up. Oh, is it like you'd be helping? Yeah. Okay. Yes, okay. we should have those ones. Let's do you want to do these ones? I don't mind. I don't give all the ones I don't. don't fit in Cameron's neat ordered. Honestly, you know me so well. <laughs> um, video. Oopsie. <laughs> right, kidney beans. And then. Okay, guys. Right, let's make burritos.
these are our component bits. This is like the easiest dinner ever. We literally just put one of those like microwave bags of rice. We don't actually have a microwave with a load of kidney beans and just fried those up. And then in here we've got beyond onions, green peppers, paprika, and like garlic flakes, garlic granules. Didn't even have to chop any. And then we've got lettuce, coriander, avocado, cheese. And then I think we're just gonna combine it all and then maybe even like stick it back in the pan. I've just heated these up in the same frying pan that we fried all that stuff in. And then maybe I'll roll it up and stick it back in, but yum, let's eat. This is what we've got. There is so much in here. I don't know how I'm gonna like fold it, but we're gonna find a way. So I've got all those bits and then the extra bits on top. We've put some sweet corn in there as well. Um, and then I've got my coriander on top. And then Cameron is telling us that we must have cashews in our burritos for what? Crunch. Crunch. For crunch. <laughs> for crunch. <laughs> so he's chopped up some cashews and we've added them on top for crunch because his favorite wrap place in South Africa puts cashews in their wraps for crunch. So we're doing the same thing apparently. But anyway, this looks so good. I need to somehow work out a way to shut this. The pros in all the burrito shops are always so good at this and I never know how they do it, but now it's my turn to try, but I'm very excited for this. Yum. Oh, actually I might stick some chili oil on mine. Good idea. Yeah, let's get some chili oil on there as well. Cause I forgot to put chili in any of the fried mixes. Yum. We are heading up to the New Forest this weekend, which is near where my sister lives. But it's my mom's birthday, and my sister's working on Saturday tomorrow, which means that we're all gonna like travel so that we can all spend my mom's birthday like all together as a family. So we're gonna go be near my sister so we can still go out for dinner on Saturday night. Anyway, so I needed to pop to Kingston and basically get some like a couple of last minute presents and some wrapping paper and stuff like that. And then I thought, well, if I'm already gonna be in Kingston, I might as well get myself some breakfast from Gail's. So I got Cameron and I both an iced chai latte each. This is my first iced drink of the season. Oh, because the sun was out today. I'm not supposed to be drinking chai. I really, really want it to be like my autumnal drink because historically my first chai of like the autumn season is like such a lovely experience for me. And now I seem to have this year bled into just drinking it all year round. But it will stop, it will stop. Once we get into like deep spring and early summer, it'll start. And then we've also got some other treats. Oh, Cameron's coming to collect his. Do you want some treats? Yes, please. Yes, please. Um, and then I got this for breakfast, this thing. Oh, it's not focusing. Oh, wow. It's so good. If you live near a Gales, this is like the best overnight oats thing ever. And I love making overnight oats as well, but nothing can beat this. It's literally delicious. Again, I really feel like I've gone all in on the autumnal food today for some really weird reason. But this is apple and blackcurrant with almond butter. And it's got like a blackcurrant chia compote thing. And anyway, it's ridiculously good. And then I also got some of these, I never know how to pronounce this word. 
financier, 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 like these little, they're kind of just like very, I don't know how you describe them. I don't know if they're made with like almond flour or something, but they're just like such moist little cakes. Anyway, they had some pistachio ones in there. Again, not focusing, sorry. Um, but yeah, they had some pistachio ones in there. I just thought like mum would absolutely love these. So we're leaving today at like four to head down there. So dinner tonight will also be pub food. And then I got Cameron a little like salami with like little cornichon, little pickles bun which he will love, I'm so jealous. Like, it used to be one of my favorite things when I ate meat, like salami and pickles and a little bun, well, so European. And then I got myself a little salmon one. Anyway, Cameron's here, so I will give him his treats, but that's breakfast for today. Okay, now Cameron and I are munching on our treats. I also forgot to show you that. I popped into the bookshop and I found the Crescent City books. I have to say, the hardback covers of these are absolutely stunning. Like ridiculously beautiful book covers in my opinion but they are also massive and these books are already big enough so I just went for the um paperback version and yeah so I finished Earth and Blood I'm now currently reading Sky and Breath and I've got about 20% left so I reckon I should like finish that like relatively soon I don't know um but yeah I'm actually really enjoying it I think to be honest, I almost always enjoy a book once I get to like 70% of the way through. I feel like that last 30% is always phenomenal in like all of Sarah's books, which an awesome 30% is not good enough to make an entire book great, but equally, I'm enjoying it. I'm genuinely enjoying both of these books. I'm very excited to read the third one, which I know doesn't have like amazing reviews, but the third one didn't have a paperback. In there, but I don't think it had a hardback. I couldn't find it in the shop I was in at all. Anyway, this video is not about books. <laughs> this video is about food. So I'm going to keep eating, enjoy my chai, and then I've actually got quite a lot of like YouTube work, which still feels like a weird concept to me, but I've got a lot of YouTube admin to do today. So I'm gonna sit down, do some work, um, and then try and get this house, like relatively clean and tidy, I always like leaving home with the place in like a nice state. So, okay, time to go down. So I can confirm this breakfast was just as good as I remembered it. Honestly, the world's best overnight oats and the combo of that with an iced chai was just insane. In the process of heading down to the new forest, the rest of the day kind of ran away with me, but we did decide to have lasagnas for dinner instead of going to the pub. And I know a few of you have been asking me for my lasagna recipe, and this is honestly the best one ever. So I've included it in the description. I hope you enjoy trying to make it. Send me pics if you do. Thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.